hello everyone thank you for coming back to my channel so in this video i would like to give you a quick walk around of my rig um, that i've been doing from last uh, 12 months uh, it's been a while um, i had to save some money and buy some buy some accessories for my vehicle um, uh, setting up for uh, long term touring um, so this is feb 5 saturday victoria so this I'll, I'll start with the front as you can see i used to have um two light force um nine inch driving lights uh, that came with the vehicle when i bought from my old owner um, i was thinking in victoria there is a rule where you cannot put um, driving lights which will come or put protrude um, in front of the bull bar so uh, i thought that's a rule that i found in when i went for registration or roadworthy so i had to remove those lights and uh, bought um, a 49 dollars ridge uh, rider lights and i had an old old uh, driving light harness which was already there so i had to rewire rewire that a bit and the other important mod that i've done is to put winch um, to my alloy bull bar this is a factory nissan bull bar so instead of buying a new steel bull bar because they are uh, very costly nowadays i uh, had an idea to get a winch cradle and a winch and uh, put that uh, on the chassis and cut a small hole so that i can i can use this winch so i believe um, for the driving that i do this is more than enough um, and in terms of winch so that's a, a cheap ridge rider a 12,000 pound electric winch um, I haven't used that yet um, I just uh, just tested it it with a small log near my home uh, hopefully I'm guessing it will work so in terms of winch controller I didn't like um, or want to put the winch controller on top of the bull bar so I had to um, put that here if you can see here yeah. so this is where i put so i um there was there was a bracket there was a bracket um to this pull bar already so i had to uh, put uh, some two holes here and then mounted this winch controller here and this winch controller came um with 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 a long um i think it's a two meter connector so i just connected it here and then wired it through my uh, through my um, um, bonnet next to the battery so i can just use either a wireless uh, remote controller or a wide one um, sitting inside my car so i'm 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 i i went through few water crossings um lately uh, the last last weekend uh, when i went to dago from here so i did not observe um maybe i did not feel um, um uh, this is working fine that's what i meant sorry for my english um so after i did some water crossings and did some four wheel driving through through dargo river uh, in the victorian high country i tested this winch and it worked fine so i am hoping this is kind of a waterproof uh, controller so i'm i'm not sure i'll i'll have to see how how if i do more water crossings in the winter time um we'll see we'll see how that goes um and this is this is the winch cradle that i've i've bought uh, for maybe a 150 bucks or something um, something online so this suits perfectly on the gu petrol um it, it just sits on the, on the holes uh, that i already have i had to i had to drill one hole uh, to to fit the other end of the other end of the winch cradle so so far it is hanging tight so i haven't really pulled any vehicle or pulled myself out of any situation till now because uh, nissan petrol never gets bogged um so we'll see how, how that goes um i'm pretty new to this so uh, so i'll have to i have to learn learn my lessons after doing it i guess so I bought a new number plate. That's my father's name. And the other um, important thing that I've done here in the engine bay is to remove the LPG um, system that I had. 
so I, ha I didn't had any problems with the LPG system uh, it's just that it was running um, uh, it was not running properly um, I'm new to this and I don't have any clue of doing this and I had to I went uh, to nearby mechanic and they've asked me some fifteen hundred dollars to 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 kind of um, get that checked so there is no way that I'm spending that much money so simply I got frustrated and uh, I just removed uh, the LPG system in my vehicle and, and made it straight petrol um, and the other uh, mod um, if you can see here so I've connected I've put um, Safari snorkel here just DIY in the driveway and the other mod that I've done is um, 230270 awning so I have used this couple of times in pouring rain and sunny conditions it, it, it it's kind of a freestanding if you don't have any wind but this also comes with uh, poles so if you want to if you want to pack them down you can do that so this saved me um, many times uh, when I was camping in rain at the Victorian high country so I uh, for now I love it very much so I've I've also got this um, in, in a very good deal online uh, and I had to uh, get this and the other changes that I've done is so I just bought um, a single XTM draw so where I, I put my spares uh, cooking air stow um all or uh, anything to do with the, with the tools and stuff i use it there so it's not organized well enough so I'll, I'll have to do another video sometime later and pretty much that's it i don't want to put a big draw system here so i understand um, um if you want to organize them well um you'll many people in the wagons put um a cargo barrier there and and put some draw systems so at this stage I'm not inclined to put any draw systems here uh, at some point I'll, I'll get a fridge for now I'm just doing max to max three days uh, camping or three four days camping um, in the bush so I don't need a full fridged draw system and uh, and and a fridge extra 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 so I just have a small um, uh, water cooler um, uh, just just a nice box um, and that is primarily used uh, to carry food for my boy Simba who is an Alaskan Malimut slash uh, Golden Retriever Cross so in terms of electricity and du I don't have any dual battery system fitted to this so uh, I just uh, wired up a dual battery wiring system from my bonnet to the cargo area uh, of the vehicle and I have a portable uh, battery uh, which I take it whenever I need it so at this stage I don't think I need a full uh, vehicle fitted dual battery system maybe 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 if my demands increase in future I might do it so this is just a water jerry can that I use um, carry just uh, 20 liters or 15 liters when I go out and everything here will be tied down uh, when I go um, uh, camping or, or long drives um, and nothing moves so it is uh, holding up very well for now and uh, nothing much so this is where my my dog my dog um, sits whenever we go camping so hence I don't want to remove my rear seats ever because he always comes with me camping so in the rear of the vehicle this is where i carry some tools my shovel and and uh, um, um, the, the, the tire deflator kit and compressor everything is portable it's not fixed anywhere so um when I, whenever i go for camping i kind kind of tie them so that they don't move um or do any uh, anything to my boy who sits here uh, this is working out very well because I don't do any crazy crazy four wheel driving or um, do some too much uh, long wheel driving at this stage 
so as you can see here so this is where um, I don't know if it is clear or not so this is where I, I wire the dual battery system uh, to the battery um, with a uh, 50 amp fuse working fine till now no problems so this is this is this is the winch this is the wiring from the winch so I connect uh, to the battery so I don't connect the negative terminal of the winch always because um, I'll, I'll do that uh, whenever I want to use the winch so I don't want winch to be connected all the time so pretty much the stock six cylinder no tuning nothing done uh, holding up very well till now and the other important mod that I've done recently is to put a long range fuel tank so I got this used from uh, from um, Facebook or marketplace um, got got in a go very good deal the guy was uh, I think selling selling his vehicle and got it for a good good deal so I wanted a long range since this is a 4.5 liter petrol vehicle it drinks hell lot of fuel so I'm not concerned about the fuel economy at this stage uh, because I don't do any crazy long 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 driving so this range is very important for me if I want to travel at least 400 kilometers from my home where I live uh, to any nearest Victorian high country camping camping or uh, uh, if I want to do um, any four-wheel driving at, at, at uh, the high country so that's all guys for the mods for now thank you for watching hopefully this helped uh, anyone who is looking to make any changes to their more to their vehicles see you in the next video thank you bye have a nice day